a question that I'm frequently asked is, uh, are supplements good past the expiration date? Anybody who uses food supplements knows that whether it's a protein supplement, a vitamin, mineral, any other kind of supplement, the supplement, if you look at the label or the on the bottle or the can or whatever, you'll see an expiration date. A lot of people believe without really knowing, they think that past that expiration date means that the supplement is useless. That's not true at all. What, what does the expiration date really refer to? The expiration date refers to basically the, uh, what they're saying is that supplement, no matter what it is, whether it's whey or vitamin mineral, the company that makes the supplement is guaranteeing the potency that's listed on the label for the nutrient content they're guaranteeing it up to that date. In other words, they're saying that if you take the vitamin, mineral, or, or whey protein, whatever you're taking, or creatine, if you take it up to that date, they guarantee the potency. Past that date, they don't guarantee the potency. Does that mean that if you take it, let's say uh, you have a, uh, uh, a supplement that expires May 2024. Does that mean if you take the supplement in June, that you're not getting any nutrients? Not at all. Not at all. In fact, there's almost no loss whatsoever. Uh, I, I can give you a little story uh, of, uh, of what happened uh, to me. Oh, well, let me think, before I go into that, what are the things that affect how, how long vitamins or other supplements stay fresh? A lot of it has to do with the temperature. Generally speaking, if you keep vitamins, let's say, uh, in a warmer temperature, a lot of people keep their vitamin supplements in kitchen cabinets or whatever. If the, if the temperature in the room gets very hot, then there's going to be a much more rapid degradation of the nutrients. Some nutrients are much more sensitive to temperature, and they will degrade rapidly in hot temperatures. Also, humidity. A lot of people will take their vitamins and stick it in the refrigerator. Unfortunately, the increased humidity in the refrigerator can also speed the breakdown of certain nutrients. Exposure to light. Uh, I can't remember, I think it's vitamin E, and there's a couple of other vitamins. When they're exposed to light, they also tend to degrade rapidly. Oxygen, anything, uh, when you when uh, certain uh, supplements, for example, fish oil, uh, whether it's in capsules or in liquid, when exposed to oxygen, uh, it tends to go rancid. In other words, it, go, it undergoes a process called lipid per, lipoperoxidation, where the uh, fats contained in the fish oil become rancid. You could, sometimes you could tell by smelling it, but this usually happens when, uh, see fish oil is a highly polyunsaturated food supplement. Now what that means is it's highly prone to oxidation. And whether you use a fish oil capsules or fish oil liquid, as soon as you open it, you should stick it in the refrigerator to prevent ex excessive exposure to oxygen. Never keep fish oil out, at, even at room temperature. It will start to go rancid very fast. In fact, that's a problem with a lot of fish oil supplements. They start out fresh, but they're, you know, they're kept on shelves or whatever, and it's warehouses. And by the time you get the supplement, unfortunately, a lot of it has already been oxidized or rancid. And so that's what affects, uh, these are the factors that affect um, vitamin uh, potency. Other things that affect uh, nutrient potency are the properties of the ingredients, such as the pH level, uh, whether it's uh, acid or alkaline, uh, you know, that can affect it. Metal ions, uh, for example, uh, certain uh, minerals uh, like copper and iron, they could cause oxidation of other nutrients. Other oxidizing and reducing agents also play a role in, in, uh, in food stability. There's one study that evaluated vitamins, uh, different brands of vitamins, and they found that 90% of samples of vitamins A, C, and E had significantly degraded after a year in storage. Again, these are antioxidant vitamins. Uh, a, C, and E are very prone to oxidation, so you got to keep them in a cool, dry place. Uh, now, uh, the question that uh, often comes up is, if you take an expired vitamin, or nutrient uh, supplement that's past expiration, is it dangerous? Uh, no, it's not dangerous. Nothing will happen. It just means that you're not getting the potency that you will get if, if it's the vitamin is, uh, let's say, younger than its expiration date, if it hasn't reached its expiration date. 
Uh, now, here's a quick story I was going to mention earlier. Years ago, I, I did some work for a supplement company. Uh, they made what they call meal replacement supplements. These came in envelopes, uh, in sealed envelopes, and you mix them in water, whatever, and they basically took the place of a meal. I'm not going to mention the company because I don't do commercials in my videos, unlike 99% of other videos. Suffice to say, this was the most popular meal replacement. They sent me their new formula, which came in a kind of silver envelope. It also had HMB added, which was a new supplement at the time. And uh, basically, I stuck it. They sent me about, if I remember correctly, about 15 boxes. Each box had about 10 or 15 envelopes of this meal replacement supplement. I stuck it in a closet and basically forgot about it. <laughs> I remembered that I had it about, I think it was 12 years later. The supplements, this, these, this supplement was in a, my closet, which is a cool, dry place for 12 years. The supplement, the envelopes that the supplements came in were very tightly uh, wrapped, so no oxygen could get in. And you could tell, you know, this supplement was mostly protein. It contained milk proteins, casein and whey. You can tell that a, a protein or amino acid supplement went bad. A lot of times you get a certain odor if you smell it. If it smells bad, it's probably no good. Toss it. Anyway, to make a long story long, I opened up one of the envelopes. I was getting ready to toss all 12 boxes. I opened up the envelope. It smelled perfect. To make a long story again long, I wound up using all 12 boxes. With no problems, nothing. I, I got the full potency of the supplement. It was as good as the day I got it. And this was 12 years after its past expiration date. Now, the, the, the supplements most likely to go bad are oil supplements. Anything with oil, as I said, fish oil, uh, other types of oil supplements, uh, uh, they tend to get oxidized, Whether no matter how careful you are, I mean, if you, if you, for example, if you keep, let's say, fish oil in the refrigerator, it'll last a lot longer. It will probably show minimal oxidation, uh, but they still eventually become oxidized after a while. So oil supplements or capsules that contain oil, they're the ones that are most likely to be oxidized, which means that you're not going to, it's not going to hurt you. You're just not going to get the, uh, the, the full potency of, the, uh, of whatever's on the label. You're not, not going to get the full potency. So this goes for all supplements. Uh, you know, uh, there's one exception, olive oil. A lot of extra virgin olive oil, if you keep it in the refrigerator, it tends to get like a little bit of ice in it. You know, it tends to harden up a little bit. But uh, olive oil, as long as it's kept in a cool, dry place, I'm talking extra virgin olive oil, as long as it's kept in a cool, dry place away from heat and light, most uh, olive oil should always be in a dark bottle. Whether it's glass or plastic, it has to be in a dark bottle. That could be kept out for extended times. I think it's because of, of the fact that olive oil is a monounsaturated. It's not quite as prone to oxidation as the polyunsaturated oils like fish oil. So it could last a lot longer. And also, olive, extra virgin of olive oil is very, very rich in polyphenol compounds, which are extremely potent antioxidants. And that's what probably makes olive oil more stable. Uh, again, as long as you keep it at room temperature, away from heat and light. And that goes, again, for any supplement, any vitamin supplement, any powdered supplement. You want to keep it away. Never, ever keep, for example, I've seen people uh, at the gym, uh, what they do is they keep supplements in the trunk of their car. I've seen them work out, go out to the parking lot, and actually mix a protein drink they, they open their trunk and they mix a protein drink right there. Now, if they keep that protein powder in the trunk all the time, well, you know, during the day, the heat is going to degrade the amino acids. They're going to go undergo a process called denaturation, which causes a breakdown of the amino acids. Uh, it might not even smell bad, but the truth is they're not getting the full potency of the protein if they keep it in the hot trunk all day long. So you always want to keep, no matter what the supplement, again, keep it in a cool, dry place. The closet where I kept that powdered meal replacement was dark, dry, it had no humidity, and it was cool. That accounts, plus the fact that the supplement was bound in kind of 
very tight envelopes where no oxygen can get in. That accounted for the fact that it was as fresh as the day I got it, 12 years after the expiration, it was perfectly good. So I think that's about it for this video. Again, don't go by expiration rates. But, uh, there is exceptions. Uh, anecdotally, I've noticed, uh, I don't drink milk anymore, but when I used to buy milk in the supermarkets, I would buy, let's say, the cheaper, I would use non-fat milk. This, I haven't drunk, I very rarely drink milk these days. I cut it out. But when I did drink milk, uh, if I bought the cheaper milk versions, they would have an expiration date, and these cheap milk versions almost always went sour, sometimes a week before the expiration date, and I kept it in the refrigerator, and the milk still went bad. But then I switched to using organic milk. Organic milk was something like eight times more expensive, but not only did the organic milk not go bad rapidly, but it actually lasted much longer than the expiration date on the on the uh, carton. Uh, some of these uh, organic milks would last four months in the refrigerator. The typical cheap non-fat milk didn't even last two weeks. So in this situation, it's better to buy, uh, a little, spend a little more money on a higher quality food product. This also pertains to other food products in the supermarket. Uh, you know, again, if you uh, look, look for dairy foods, for example, all of these things uh, tend to go bad pretty fast after their expiration date. So keep that in mind. If you buy eggs, for example, they could, if you keep them in the refrigerator, they can last a pretty long time, a couple of weeks, but eggs will not last forever. If you put, buy a bunch of eggs, put them in the refrigerator for six months, a lot of them will have gone bad. Uh, so to keep that in mind. So that's about it for this video. If you want more information on nutrition, exercise science, anti-aging research, supplement science, which supplements work, which ones don't. I don't hesitate to tell you the truth about that because I'm not associated with any food supplement company. Unlike 98% of people that make YouTube videos that are, are either associated with a supplement company or sell their own supplements. You know, you got to always be careful when you listen to these people because they got the, to use a cliche, they got a dog in the fight. They want you to buy certain supplements. If they're selling, if they're mentioning supplements from other companies, it's because they, they are basically shills. They get paid off by these companies to push their products. I saw a uh, video the other day. It was a doctor who, this doctor tends to make videos that attack various supplements. He, he says they're garbage, don't waste your money. He cherry picks studies to prove his point while completely ignoring other studies that oppose his viewpoints, which means he has almost a complete lack of credibility. But the fact that he has an MD, MD degree supposedly, now this guy's not in the United States. I don't even can't even confirm the guy has an MD degree. <clears throat> but now this guy, uh, he, he sells T-shirts, mugs, and he recently came out with a vitamin mineral. This vitamin mineral doesn't even contain the minimal daily requirements of most vitamins. It contains like 50, 25 to 50 percent. It's extremely low potency, and he charges $49. I mean, you can, you can get better vitamins by buying a $3 bottle of one-a-day vitamins. And, you know, and people listen to this guy like he's an authority, which is pathetic. So I, I'm, I'm not like these people. But whatever I write about supplements is the truth. I also write about women's health and fitness, uh, hormone therapy such as testosterone therapy. I tell the latest. I tell you how to, if you, if you are going to take hormones like testosterone, I tell you the safest ways to do it based on current uh, uh, evidence. Um, everything in my applied metabolics is evidence-based, and it also includes my 60 years of constant study and personal experience also, which cannot be duplicated anywhere else. Uh, the topics and the, the subjects I, I, I write about in applied metabolics are kind of off the road. They're, they're not typically found on the web. They're not typically found in other digital publications. Uh, you can look at applied metabolics as kind of an advanced nutrition course. <coughs> It will teach you things that you're not going to find anywhere else. It's an extremely use, useful resource for trainers or anybody who wants to know all the nuances of nutrition and exercise. So subscribe today. 
www.appliedmetabolics.com. Uh, when you subscribe, send me an email, and I'll, I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolic Facebook page, where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise science, and general health. I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolic webpage where uh, current subscribers only can send me short questions about anything that comes to mind related to nutrition exercise or anything they might have read in Applied Metabolics. I'll be happy to answer those questions in appreciation for their subscription. Uh, I don't answer unsolicited questions, unfortunately. Uh, you're welcome to leave uh, uh, suggestions for future uh, videos, topics for future videos under in the comments section under this video. If I feel that the uh, suggestions will interest a large number of people, I'll try and do it. Uh, a video, I'll try and do a video on this. Uh, again, the uh, my videos, as you can see, they're not fancy. There's no fancy graphics. But what you are getting is the 100% truth, which cannot be said for 90, 90 to 95% of YouTube videos are bullshit garbage. I'll say it right out. I don't care who's making the video. They're either selling something or they're not giving you the full story. You'll never see that in my videos. My videos are 100% truth. That I promise. So if you like my videos, please subscribe to my video channel, this one here. Tell others about it. And also, if you really want to know, learn a lot about nutrition, uh, to the extent that you'll, you yourself will be an expert in nutrition, after about six months, subscribe to my Applied Metabolics. Guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will learn something, and it's certainly not expensive. Applied Metabolics is one of the least expensive publications on the internet. Uh, I just saw a uh, video by this uh, grad student. He, he makes videos, again, this guy talks about supplements. Uh, kind of looks like a nerd a bit, but I, I just happened to notice he mentioned something about subscribing to his premium, premium uh, uh, I don't know if it's a website or whatever, his premium uh, whatever, and I, I looked it up. Uh, he charges $49 a month uh, for supposedly exclusive videos and access to written material. $49 a month, which is five times more than I charge for Applied Metabolics. And I can almost guarantee you're getting a lot more in Applied Metabolics than this guy will ever give you because he doesn't have the background I have. I don't care how many PhDs he has. It makes no difference. Subscribe to Applied Metabolics, www.appliedmetabolics.com. You won't be sorry. If you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter, adopt a dog. Again, I still don't have a dog. Uh, I miss my little Bruno. He died last March. I, I get sad just thinking about him. You know, I have his ashes over here, but I will get another dog. You know, I, I just love those dogs. I, I've... I mean, there's nothing like having a dog. When you're down, you're not you know, feeling a little depressed, the dogs cheer you up. They're truly man's best friend. And the only way you'll know this yourself is to get a dog. But whether you get a dog or not, I implore everybody re seeing this video, please be kind to animals. Animals are the most, have the greatest integrity of any beings on this planet. There's a lot of shitty humans in this world, but you'll never find an, an animal like that. I mean, they're, they're just wonderful creatures. I don't care what them, whether whales, tigers, dogs, cats, you name them. They're all great. Thanks for listening.